Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Stardew Valley. We're 61 hours into the game now. And last episode we got married to uh, Leah. Oh, I got a telephone call here. Robotic voice. Please mail your credit card number two one three three. <laughs> so we're getting, we're getting robocalls inside a video game. How nice. Okay, we gotta check the heating system. Lee's gonna take care of it all. How great. We'll give her some cheese. So we need uh need four more hearts to get kind of full hearts with Leah. Last episode we upgraded the house, we got our wine cellar going. So we're gonna be putting a little bit of wine in here, maybe a little bit of cheese for the uh for income, but also for delicious consumption. And we got this slime hutch factory set up, I think a few episodes ago. I think we need to take care of that one slime there. So if you cover the floor in the slime area and they lay their little slime things, they'll they'll appear uh, below the, the main area. That way you don't have to interact with them. There is a special ring you can get though. If you kill, I think, a thousand slimes. Haven't reached that yet, but then they won't attack you. Let's see what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow. What do we got? Cloudy with gusts of wind. This episode, I'm going to try to get the community center unlocked, so that's a big goal. We've been waiting for one pomegranate. That's the final key to get the community center open. Okay, what has Leah done here? She's gone and bought a plant for us. I don't think we'll leave it in the middle of the room. I think I'll probably move it somewhere. Continuing to fatten Leah up with cheese. <laughs> she prefers salads, but we're gonna give her cheese. Okay, Robin's giving us wood. Uh, we got the Stardew Valley Fair tomorrow. Probably edit that out, because we've seen that in the previous episodes. Give some speed love to our animals here. They're relatively happy. And inside the greenhouse here, we got a little bit of a crop going on. I'm eventually going to turn this into all ancient fruit, I think. But right now we got a mixture of star fruit and ancient fruit. This will be our cash cow. Okay, next day Leah doesn't want to get up. She's just going to stay in bed. I wish I could do this every day. Well, maybe not every day, but sleeping in is fun. Not the whole day, actually, but sleeping in is nice. We got one more heart there with Leah. Oh, some wine has... Is ready to go here? I'll probably age some of it and sell some of it. I'm gonna get some, uh... We're gonna remodel here. Gonna move the egg, the mayo makers into the egg, the chicken farm, and move the cheese maker into the cow barn. That way, we don't have to run around as much. Let's get this wine uh, aging. Now it takes forever to the wine for the wine to age all the way through silver, gold, and uh, iridium quality. But it's I don't know if it's I guess it's worth it. It's better to just store it away than turn it over, as in sell it. I'm sure someone's done some number crunching there. But I'll fill up all the casks in the basement and then anything excess will just sell, I think. We got another call here. It's the bear calling us. Ho ho ho. We gave him some maple syrup. Oh, he's so happy, look at that. <laughs> what a weirdo. I got bears calling us in the game. I wonder where his phone is. Oh, should we have a baby? Yeah, let's do it. 
I think there should be appropriate sound effects here, but it is a G rated G game. So we'll have none of that, I guess. <laughs> trying to grow these trees here to get the hardwood because we're going to need some eventually. Do a little bit of speed chopping here. This is just for regular wood. Clean things up. Make room for um, the hardwood trees. I was growing them up in the top right here, but I'm going to make a little farm down below for them. And there's Leah making a sculpture. That's her hobby. There we go. If you fertilize these with tree fertilizer, they grow pretty fast. Otherwise, they just, they're pretty, they take forever. So I highly recommend the tree fertilizer. And then they also just start, when they grow up, they start dropping their own seeds and they just start multiplying like crazy. So I think with a farm about this size, we'll probably never need hardwood again. We'll just, we'll thin it out once in a while. Chop down maybe 25% and just keep that little hardwood forest going. But the uh, tree fertilizer, that's the key. Got a little bit of fall crops here. We got some cranberries coming in, some pumpkins. And we got some row from our sea cucumbers. Super cucumbers, I should say. Add one, one extra seed, we'll get that down. Stand between the pillars, three. Okay, I think I know where that is. I think that's in the desert. We'll do that in the future. Okay, we got some sort of achievement there. Doesn't show up in the recording, but it was the million, million gold achievement. Yep, yeah, there it is. New achievement, millionaire. Ooh. It only took us 61 hours. Imagine if you can make a million dollars in 61 hours. I'm sure lots of multi-millionaires do that, but maybe billionaires. Okay, here we go. Community center. The pomegranate that we've been waiting probably like 20 game hours or in real hours for. Here we go. This has been the ultimate grind. The last bundle. The genie mos are gone. They're gonna do a farewell dance. Goodbye. <laughs> These are my favorite little critters in the game, I think. Nice. Let's check this place out. Got the nice fish tank. Where is everyone, though? I think there's some kind of celebration that happens later. To keep our eyes peeled up for that. Eyes peeled, not eyes peeled out. That sounds painful. Next day. Life's too short to eat crap. Yep. So she gives us a salad. I think we'll just um, give that right back to her because she loves salads. <laughs> we're so sick of your salads, we're just giving them back. Two more hearts to go. Let's 
Spirits are in good humor, okay. And Marnie's birthday's tomorrow. I think there's some kind of judgment that Grandpa does at the end of the year, so that'll be coming up after winter, I think. And Willie says, come by to the shop, because he's unlocked the back room. Okay, fish stew. Got a getting a lot of mail here. Rhubarb pie. There's an achievement for making every single recipe, so we'll be trying to do that. We got a mysterious message from the wizard here. Oh, sorry, not from the wizard, from Krobus. Wow, everyone has sent us a... Uh, seems like everyone in town has sent us a letter. Okay, maybe not everyone. Okay, but I got a lot of stuff coming in here. Cash cow. Got our tree fruit. A new chick is hatched. It looks odd. Hmm. I think this is our um our void chicken. So we'll call it, we'll call him or her Voidy. I guess they're all female because they all lay eggs, so look how tiny Voidy is. He's like a baby black hole. And the blobfish wanted a couple of sea urchins, so tossed a few of those in. Okay, here's the party. The opening party for the uh, community center. Nice to see everyone settling in here, enjoying their space. Willie's at the fish tank, and I think Clint's probably going to use the uh, the furnace down there. Everyone's got their own kind of space to hang out. George is down there in the corner by the bookshelf, looking not very happy. Community center has never looked better, yeah. How do we do it? We just grind it away for many, many, many hours. Oh, we get a trophy. Or an award. Trophy, nice. We'll have to put that in our house somewhere. Grumble, grumble, who's this? Sales are plummeting. We don't care about your store, Jojo. Morris. He doesn't look very happy. <laughs> let's get him, let's get, get these two to rumble. He'll run a mega sale. Um, get everyone back. I think they should have a food fight. Nope, they're gonna have a, some fisty cups here. I'm gonna duke it out. Pierre's ready. My money's on Pierre. <laughs> You're even weaker than your fresh produce selection. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. I feel like I've gotten to know pretty much every character. It's pretty cool. That was quite the knockout. 
Uh, Peter put his shades on at the end there. So the game is telling us that violence is cool. And that you should punch people into the, ro into the roof. <laughs> punch capitalists into the roof. Okay, so here's Jojo Mart. Terminated. <laughs> the end of an era. So where, like, Shane used to work at Jojo Mart, I think, and... Where's everyone gonna... All those people that were employed there, where are they gonna... Where are they gonna work now? We got a little cutscene here. I think Lewis and uh, Marty are, um... Having a little... Little secret love affair here. And we're, we're like a creeper. Creeper hiding away in the, in the back here. Oh, that was a face worth a million bucks. Um, should we tell everyone? I think we'll keep it a secret. A secret. We'll be nice. Why were you hiding there anyway? Because <laughs> we're... We're a creeper. We just ran back into the bushes. So disturbing. Okay, we're gonna put in... Finally, put in a stable. I should have built this a long time ago. I didn't want to grind all the hardwood because I thought it would take a while, but now we're, now that we got our hardwood little farm going, it, was, it wasn't as bad to build it up. Otherwise, you got to go to the hidden grove and chop down stumps every day. Not very fun. Much easier to just grow it. Robin likes salads as well. It's good to know. I think her. Oh, cutscene. Linus is looking for berries, I think. <laughs> I think uh, he startled her. Yeah, let's invite Linus to live on the farm. Why not? Oh, he looks sad. He likes living that way. He likes nature and being alone. Guess he likes being a hermit nomad. He does have his tent. Off he goes to get some berries. Hopefully he's warm in the winter. Okay, we're gonna make some more casks here for more wine aging. We got 18 more. Get those in the cellar. Because we're gonna we're gonna be ramping up the wine production. And I think we can pack quite a few in here. But 
we need to leave room to get get to them all, so that's the plan. I wish we could blow up those two barrels right above so we can make more room, but I think they're permanent. Might as well age some cheese as well. Wonder how many more days until Leah has a baby. <laughs> what should we do today? We've got some challenges. Don't think we have an a a apricot yet. We've got some more wine coming in. Leah's been watering the crops. Um, filling the water bowl, that's nice. A little smooch. Give her back some of her famous salad. And I can hear Robin building the, the uh, horse barn, horse stable there. Get some of this wine put away. And Willie told us to come by, so we're gonna go see him. He's got a bit of a problem, okay. Is there a dead body in there? I think he overbreeded his uh, crabs a little bit. Yeah, what has he done? <laughs> Fresh and alive. I think it's going to be crab stew night. Oh, Gus is going to take them all. <laughs> he probably fished them all, not bred them all. Sweet ladies. <laughs> Okay, doing a special on crab cakes. Uh, good. We'll have to stop by the saloon and get some of those, assuming they're cheap and good. And we're gonna try this this back room out. It was locked before, but he, I think he said come by. Ooh, got like a old-looking damaged boat in here. She was my father's boat. Okay, we need some materials. 200 pieces of hardwood for the hull. Iridium for the anchor. And take her to Fern Islands, okay. Volcanic, volcanic islands full of strange something or other. I missed it. I went too fast? Okay, we'll get the materials for him. So we can check out these fern islands. It sounds like there's going to be a new area for us to explore. Okay, what exactly do we need here? We need 200 hardwood. Uh, five iridium bars. I think we have a few. We might need to... And five battery packs. I think we have those. But iridium, we don't have enough iridium, so we'll probably have to hit the skull caverns a bit. 
do a bit of grinding there. We also need to get to level 25 of the, um... Oh, what's going on here? We got a starfruit. Or not a starfruit, a... What is this thing called? Gives us energy. Star drop. It's a symbol of her love. Okay, nice. We'll give her a salad in return. Our horse is ready. Okay. What should we name him? Pika. I like Pika. It's a tiny little horse. Oh, look at this thing. It's so fast. Should have, should have made this so much earlier. We'll try the coffee speed boost plus the horse. See how fast we go. Pretty. I think it's faster. I think it. I think it stacks. Yeah, loving this horse. If I ever do another playthrough, I'll make the horse so much earlier. Takes a lot of hardwood, though. Okay, I don't think hot peppers are Alex's favorite, but he didn't seem to hate them. Okay, we got some... Uh... <laughs> he smells the crab on us. We're going to turn in some geodes here. Got a whole bunch. Copper, iron, coal, clay. Lots of generic stuff. Oh, Neptunite? I don't think that's new, though. Alamite. I think a few of those were new, so let's go see. Well, we had this old gear from before, and then, yeah. So one was new, two was new. Getting closer. Okay, here's the crab cakes. Uh, plus one speed, plus one defense. Tons of energy. Pretty cheap. We got lots of money stacked up, so... We'll buy a whole bunch of those. Another little cutscene here. Looks like Abigail is doing some gra grave digging, maybe. <laughs> she finds humorous. What's the sword for? Oh, she's been practicing. Because she wants to, what, murder some townsfolk? No, she wants to explore the mountain caves, okay. I think in my next playthrough I'll, I'll, be, the, I'll be the jerk with all my responses. And this playthrough will generally be uh, a nice person. Okay, whoa, Pierre's here. Abigail's very surprised. He's demanding that she comes home and helps with dinner. Probably not uh, what she wants to hear. Let's get out of here. Pierre's not going to be very happy, I don't think. His teenage daughter is getting into a bush with some bearded dude. I'm a married man, but I think there's some... Hanky panky, hanky panky going on there. 
in the bush. <laughs> yeah, there's stuff going on in there. <laughs> Another day. Day 20 of fall. Winter's just around the corner. Truffle oil. That stuff sells for fourteen ninety one. That's some good stuff. Some good, good cash. Might have to build a whole other pig farm. Oh, we're gonna have a baby soon. How soon? Come on, give us some, give us some deets. Well, we got the nursery all ready for that when it happens. We need to, we have a quest to get to the level 25 of the skull cavern, so we're gonna try to do that. Been saving up some emeralds, which you can buy staircases with. So after our morning coffee here, we're gonna get, uh, let's buy some staircases. This is just in case we don't get to level 25 and we need to escape quickly. Now I've died in here at least twice. So I gotta be careful. We got, we got some food, we got our weapon. We got coffee. I should have brought some bombs, but We'll just hammer our way down there. Oh, these ghosts, just, they just move so slow. They suck up, they suck up time. Precious time. And here comes one of those dragon thingies. We're wasting time. We gotta get, we gotta get going down. Okay, that ate 30 minutes of our day. We're gonna have to move faster if we have any hopes of getting to level 25. Should have brought some bombs. Okay, we're gonna zoom, zoom around here. Okay, for the staircase. Okay, there it was. Another staircase, another staircase. We really want the holes that we can jump into. Oh, another staircase. Down we go, level eight. Oh, here's what we're looking for. Here's a hole. We fell seven levels. Okay, that's pretty good. Skipping ahead a bit, level 19. And we found another hole. Which is good. Okay, level 25. We got, uh, we did it. A few lucky holes, and I don't think we had to use any of our staircases. Maybe I did. Jody's come to visit. We walked all the way up here. Are we uphill? I guess we are. Oh, she wants uh, us to come for dinner. She wants us to bring a fish. She didn't invite Leah, she just invited me. I think she's trying to flirt with us, even though she's married to uh, the military dude, Kent, I think. So let's see if we got... Uh, with that large amount of bass sitting around. I think I have a few in here. 
Uh, we don't want to give up the iridium quality. We'll just bring a regular one for them. Okay, this has worked well. We're going to thin in the thin these out, get some hardwood. And you can see they dropped some seeds and started growing on their own. So this should be like a good perpetual hardwood forest for us. Got some other crops coming in here as well. And we, we got a 10,000 gold reward from Ki. I'm going to pronounce it Ki. Maybe it's Kai. And Pam sent us a battery. Okay. Sell some stuff here. Clear up some room. Okay, it's 9 p.m. I think I missed my dinner date. Uh, I got distracted doing other stuff. And we missed it. I think we maybe can go back the next day though. Oh, we got a call. It's Pierre. Okay, he's basically telemarketing us slowly. Some more wine to chuck in here. Okay, here we go. Next day. 7 p.m. 7 10 p.m. We're a little bit late. We're fashionably late. Yep, we brought the fish. Well, I wonder what happens if you don't bring the fish. Sam is on fish cleaning duty. Poor guy. And we just toss it on the floor. <laughs> How great. Who doesn't like to eat fish that's been sitting on the floor? I guess it's been sitting in the ocean before. Crispy bass was delicious. Mm-mm. Maybe we'll move in as like the uh, the second husband. Oh, we got another fairy in the night. Sp sprinkling our crops. And we got a lot of wine coming, coming in. Racking up that cash. Not sure what we'll spend it all on, but we'll figure it out. I'm sure there's some more expensive things to buy. I do want to eventually get a shed to make all our wine in. She's pregnant. Didn't she already tell us where she was pregnant? <laughs> Last time she said she, we were going to have a baby, and now she's saying she's pregnant. I guess uh, maybe in case we forgot. Shane sent us some regular... He snagged it from the back room with the Jojo Mart. The Jojo Mart's gone, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Fourteen starfruit wine. Starfruit wine is going to sell for big money, I think. Let's get some more ancient fruit uh, cooking up here. I think starfruit wine might be the most valuable wine to sell. Ancient fruit being uh, just a little bit behind that. Okay, what's this barrel for? I keep seeing this barrel. I don't know what to put in here. Maybe fish. Maybe bait? I'm not really sure. We're gonna buy a ton of bait here. Always good to have bait. But we'll buy some trout soup as well. 
give one of those to Willy. I think he likes it. Next episode, we'll uh, try to get these get these finished off. We have the batteries, now we just gotta get the iridium. But we'll wrap things up here. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you made it to the end, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.